I'm Iran. Today I'm going to speak about saffron growing indoors and the elements, what elements we need. Uh, let's uh, speak about uh, the bulbs. As you see, there is any leaf, there is any roots. You know, I mean, in the spring and summer, when there is any leaf, there is any root. On the other hand, when the bulbs are in a sleep, the bulbs are asleep, and uh, we should keep the bulbs in the hall, you know. And we try uh, to keep the bulbs without leaves and without leaves. It's exactly as you see in my hands, you know. As you see, please look at my hands. There are any leaves and there are any roots. And for example, during spring and during summer. At this season, uh, we should control the condition. Temperature 28 centigrade, humidity about 80%, carbon dioxide about 4000 or 5000 ppm. After that, it is so important, okay? Without fertilizer, without, because we don't have any leaf. We don't have any roots and we don't need to fertilize or nutrients, you know, a macronutrients, micronutrients, we don't need to any. But at the beginning of autumn, at the beginning of whole season, we need to fertilize, you know, just during spring and summer, temperature 28 centigrade. Humidity about 80%, 70 or 80%, carbon dioxide about 4000 ppm, and we don't need any light, you know? And at the beginning of the fall, the leaves gradually appear, the leaves of the bulb, you know, exactly here, exactly as you see in my hand, gradually appear, for example, in the around the bulb. And for example, then in the autumn, because this process, because today after flowering, you know, I mean, for example, after autumn, when, for example, the sprawl, then to, for example, exactly as you see my hand, this is the sprawl, this is the bud, you know, this is the point. That flower appears this life, okay? For example, in my hand, the flower exactly then reach to two centimeters, food, okay? Gradually we decrease temperature 28 centigrade to 20 centigrade, okay? 20 centigrade, and we need to ppm 600 ppm and light 1000 looks like, okay? Then the bot in the 20. Uh, two centimeters. After that, after that, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, after that, when the sprawl, sprawl or the bud, okay, 10 centimeters, we decrease to 17 centigrade, okay, 17 centigrade, between 14 centigrade or 17 centigrade. After uh, two weeks, we See the flowers after two weeks. Okay, at the right now, for example, during spring, during summer, we don't need any fertilizer. At the beginning of fall, also, we don't need any fertilizer. Even during flower, you know, we don't need it because it is during the spring, summer, and the beginning of the fall or autumn, we don't need any fertilizer. But after flowering, we need this. Very important elements, macro elements, trace element. You know, it's very important during before flowering, we don't need any fertilizer. During flowering, we don't need any fertilizer. But after that, after that, we have two choices. We can uh, transport, replace the soil, and we should give the soils with the pulp to fertilizer. What elements we need? For example, 
at the end of fall, after flowering, we need to macro element or NPK, nitrogen, potassium, phosphor. And after that, we need that humic acid. Humic acid, NPK, and we should, for example, uh, 5 kilograms, for example, 10 liters each in hectare, hectares. Okay? And for example, NPK in hectares, 20 kilograms in hectares. At the beginning, at the end of fall, but after that, when we have the leaves, you know, at the beginning of winter and during winter, the leaves gradually appear from the buds, you know, you know, as you see, this is the leaf of the buds, this is the leaves of buds. After that, we have the leaves. It's very important, a spring with trace element. Sulfur and, for example, uh, potassium sulfate, ammonium nitrate, with because the buds during winter and because this absorb from the leaf and we should spray, we should spray the bud because we don't have any root. You know, when we have roots, we irrigation and solution in the buds and during winter. That. Therefore, we have two fertilizers, NPK and humic acid, when we have this still a small leaf and after flowering, we should uh, add to soil. But at the beginning of winter and during winter, at the end of winter, we need to uh, trace elements like zinc uh, and iron and for example, Sulfur, uh, 